games into the Western Conference quarterfinals. The Plymouth Whalers are looking for their first win tonight. The Whalers look to break through the storm and come away with victory number one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a near must-win situation now for the Whalers as they try to weather the storm from Guelph. And they need to start something off with a big win here tonight. Well, that's right. The Whalers do not want to go back to Guelph, trailing the Storm three games to none. It's out of there with a 4-1 win, John, and a 2-0 series lead. Well, you're right about that, Jeff. The Plymouth Whalers had a chance to go into Guelph, and really in that second period, played well enough to come away with a victory. Uh, they outshot the Guelph Storm at 19-5 at that point in time. However, Eric, uh, a late goal at the 18-01 mark of that middle stanza by Matt House was the difference in the game. And it's all about m momentum right now. Coach, real quick, game three here tonight. Your club's up two games, nothing. What's been the biggest success for your team in the first two games? Well, I think, uh, first of all, goaltending has been quite good. Chris Mann has played well the first two games. Here they know their strength, their size, their speed. Uh, really, this team scares me, and it scares our teams. And this hockey game is underway. Nice. Back inside the line, and a storm zone picked up. Goalie with a shot stick picked off by Weiss. Weiss skates it over the line. Weiss with a shot stick save. Bucket there to keep it in. Bucket with a drive. And a save made by Zepp off in the corner. The rebound comes right back to him. Uh, during the regular campaign, the Whalers scored the first goal on 41 occasions out of the 68 games that they played, Eric. So that's one of the reasons why they... Back along the boards to Weiss. Weiss with a shot. Stick save. Rebound. Here comes Fitzgerald. Right side, Gooley. Breaking for the net. McBride deflected right to McMahon. Take a look at the opportunity here for the Whalers. Coming up just short on a big save by Chris Mann. Or rather, Mitchell. Gave it up. Drop pass Williams. He shoots one. Coming in off the left side, Justin Williams driving towards the net. And there's a shot right on Madden. Gerald up over the line with it. He's going to take a look in with a shot. Just deflected, quick shot, rebound, steered right to Madden. And he Fitzgerald again to the outside. Gouldy driving towards the net. Nice little move to get around. Uh, oh, boy. The defenseman, Matt House. And the Whalers race for it and pick it up. Here's Williams racing for the net. Fisher deflected right to Madden. Fisher's already heading towards the net on the right wing. There's the first pass, the tip, and the rebound. Now, Fitzgerald oh, brings it around for Gooley. Look for the short side. Fitzgerald shoots! And Mann came over at the last. That's what you're supposed to do as a goaltender. See him lead with the stick. It's over on the post there. And that's how he's able to keep the puck out of the back of the cage. Out of the box. Lalonde, along with Williams. Lalonde takes a look. Williams comes in, goes right through the crease. Morgan McCormick. One of the tough guys for the Guelph Storm. Fisher sets it up for Williams again. Williams in the slot, comes in. Oh! That is a huge goal for the Plymouth Whalers right there. And it ends up Sean Fisher dishing off down low to Justin Williams, who walks into the slot. Look at Weiss in front of that, acting as the screen. And that's what we were talking about. Get in front of Chris Madden, and the Whalers do so. It's 2-0 for the boys from Beck Road. There's two screens, actually, as well. Out of that one as he took a funny bounce. Saw the traffic coming his way. And speaking of traffic, we have a little bit of a traffic jam in the near corner. Dalvin back in his own end. 1-10 to go in this Whalers power play. And Williams just went down heavy with a stick to the face area. And back comes Gerby. He's got one man to beat the other way. Robichaux comes, picks his pocket nicely. That's the Plymouth Whalers. And look at this check on Joe Gerby. Joe Gerby's coming in on the right side. He's got one man to beat. It's Andre Robichaux. Robichaux just plays the angle perfectly. Plays the body, the puck, and takes him away, and takes away the, a, a potential scoring chance for the Guelph Storm. Back to Williams, comes right out to the other side, and he right up against the post. Now Hocha went down in a heap, he gets back up, breaking it, looking for the shot, the backhanded save. Step. You see the puck at the blue line, rolling right to Manny Mahotra goes in. He's stick checked, effectively, there's the rebound. Back to center, intercepted, here comes Fernaski with a drive, and a big save made. Bobby McBride charging towards the net, picks up the rebound. Here's the Bernarski shot, and it catches Madden up on the shoulder, and there's the rebound. Up in the air, and McBride does. Weiss pulls up in the corner, Weiss behind the net, brings it back right out front. Save made the rebound, it's still loose, and the net again is off its moorings, and now we got a good one going. Mal Hodra gets tangled up. Some a little bit of a face wash. Great one-handed pass there by Stephen Weiss, who is the leading point getter for the Plymouth Whalers in the postseason so far. Takes a look, pulls up, fans on the opportunity. Fitzgerald comes in, right out for Williams on first to kill quick shot, score! Randy Fitzgerald! Steve Williams and Weiss.
Price will, join, will draw the assists here. Great tip pass. And again, look at how many Guelph Storm players were down low behind the net. They were Real important. We're a young club. We got down two goals in both games in the previous uh, first two games. And, uh, you know, young kids like that don't know how to react sometimes. For a lot of these kids, this is their first experience in playoffs at this level. So a lot of these kids that haven't been in this position, you take Lalonde, Fitzgerald, uh, Eric Gouldy, and maybe Sean Fisher. Those four guys have been in this situation. Rob Zepp backed up uh, Holzinger last year. They've got uh, a number of rookies in the lineup and just have never played under that type of pressure before. So it's, you know, no matter what, it's an invaluable experience for us. We're not supposed to be here anyway, so it's an invaluable experience. And uh, like I say, it's, just, it's nice to see how they responded. Dahman again. Now Hocha works it along the line with a shot. House again. House now Hocha with a shot. Saves up, but he hangs on one more time. Dahman over for Matt Hocha again with a one-time rebound. Weiss out of the corner for Williams. Turns it, fires. Rebound comes out. He's good. Great follow-up by Justin Williams. Stephen Weiss gives it to Williams. He comes out. There goes Madden in the paddle. And look at that again. Four black jerseys down low. Wow. Count them, folks. And they're all standing still. And that is how Williams is able to walk out in front of the net and pick up the rebound. The speed on right now. Right out front for Narski. Deflected at the last second up to the loose puck. Williams fires. Goal! Williams turns to Madden, who is ticked off. There's the play. Bernarski not taking off the play. And Williams goes in, puts it home, coming into the game. Wow. Craig Anderson for the Guelph Storm. And it was the speed of the Whalers that got down low. Is intercepted and brought out by Stevens. Stevens finds Bucket on side. Bucket skates right in. Save made. Big rebound comes out. Buck right there. Knocked aside. Still loose in front. And a second. The Whalers and the Guelph Storm going at one another right here. Hot and heavy as you take a look at with us. For just a moment, we'll stay with us and see what develops. We initially had a power play coming up for the Whalers, but I'm not sure what's going to come of this, John. Well, the first penalty is to Kevin Dolan as he hauls down Randy Fitzgerald going towards the net. Now Plunkett goes after Fitzgerald, and Fitzgerald comes back after Lindsey Plunkett. Oh, my, look at this. And here we go, folks. Two on one. Charlie Stevens yeah, and Nate Kaiser. And there's some heavy hitting going on right down there. Kaiser coming around with a couple of roundhouse rights and getting a better part of his man right now. Well, Charlie Stevens is not a fighter. Oh, and I think that's very evident right here. No doubt about that. Kaiser coming back at him two more times. He's got him leveled up at center ice. And Stevens trying to come back, but he can't do it. Kaiser, oh, he took an undercut there. But he comes back. He's holding him off at arm's length, trying to get that right available again. Come up with another one. That time a left. Kaiser still after him. He ducks the punch that time. Lineman right there. They finally go down. A little bit of exhaustion there, trying to stay up on the skates as well as following through with a physical activity. And comes right back with it. Lead pass Morris. Morris skates right in. Takes a look. Backhander. And a save by Anderson as the net comes off. It's Mooring. Killers, their young pups are driving to the net here. Stephen Morris going towards the goal. He'll cut to the outside around the Guelph D. The Guelph D skiing there as he leans back like you, if, as if you're water skiing. Trying to get yourself up out of the water. Better look at it right here as Morris goes in. You'll see. Fans are keeping an eye, a wary eye on Ramsey. And Ramsey runs his man at the point. That was Dahl, but a head for Fisher. Fisher right down the middle of the slot. Tried to get the pass through off the stick of Jarrett. Jarrett knocks it down. He shoots Anderson with a save. The rebound. Score! Damian Serba. As you see him knock down in front of the net. And the shot trickles through the legs of Anderson. Good evening. That's Damian Service first postseason goal of the campaign. He's got a big and he's coming out with a Nistus out to Ramsey. Kept it at the line. Ramsey throws a shot, deflected in the opposite corner. Lalonde turns, fires. Anderson saves. Where the the score has been greater than this, and a loss occurs. So the Whalers are in control of the hockey game at the moment. Is that diplomatic? 60 minutes, John. That's what the game is about. You're very, very diplomatic in that situation. Well, indeed. We, and we've talked about we meant up the center ice into the zone. King opposite side. There were two men down. They did not give up a shot against. Just inside, neutralized. Here's Williams onside. Williams skates in, shoots. Looking for the left wing pass. Finds Goldie breaking for that. Weiss. Weiss skates in. Here is Gouldy, beautiful pass to Weiss, takes it in behind himself and rips it upstairs over top of Anderson. And the Whalers are up by a converted touchdown. 
Great look at that goal. His third of the postseason. Here goes Ramsey and King. King and Ramsey exchanging blows. Very heavy blows. Right in front of the official's bench. This is a real Donnie Brook right here between these two heavyweights. King and Ramsey going at one another. Hot and heavy. King comes back. Ramsey nails him with a left. Ramsey ends up going down to the ice, but he's going to be all right. He wants more. Great scrap. And they were yapping before the draw. As soon as the puck was dropped, you see them drop wow. the gloves. Watch this one, fans. And I mean, it goes right now, John. There's no no hesitation on any one of these young men's part. They went after one another right now, got the gloves off, got the helmets off, and then came the heavy hits. One after another, both of them exchanging the blows right in front of the official's bench. Oh, oh nice boy. Punch. The second period. Four goals on... Shots for the Whalers, and now Libor Oosternal getting tied up. That's with Ian Forbes in along the near side, Eric. Wow. Libor Oosternal, my man. Libor, take it right to him. Hit it. McCormick has got his jersey off, and they finally get tied up in a bear hug, but Libor wants more. Coming over with that right a couple of times along the back side of the head. There he is. A great shot there. As you take a look, Libor coming back with the left again. Now he comes under with a right three times. McCormick doesn't know what to do now. He's more or less just hanging on. Libor comes up with another uppercut, takes a look, lets loose. That's enough for now, he says. Wow. After 40 minutes, Nick, we're up 7 nothing. Your thoughts on the first two periods? Oh, uh, well, it, you know what? Uh, I came into this game, wasn't sure what the outcome was going to be. Guelph has come out, and they've played very solid so far. Uh, we've seen a real good play out of Chris Madden, and I think the Whalers have, have really come back. They were a team motivated to do this tonight. Uh, they came into this with a very positive attitude and have just done a terrific job. I think the first two periods, our prelude is what we're going to see uh, in the rest of the series. Shaw now throws it over on the far side, looking for the back door. Williams has to come back and pick it up. Deflected, he scores! And he has the hat trick! He's his fourth goal of the postseason. And Stephen Weiss, of course, grabs that puck and keeps it. There's a centering pass right across and a beautiful tip. First one of the period, if Metallic gets there first, he did right out front. Williams looking for it. Newman comes in, tries to get the shot away, instead takes the pass right out front. Williams looking for another one and on the left side. Knocking down Morris again with a drive. Super goes after it. Kaiser gets there with him. The middle and hits one of his partners and coming off the right side. He got the piece of it as well. Centering pass out front, Fitzgerald just in there. Back to Nell, pulls up with a circle with a shot and drifted right past. Saturday. Kelly at the line, sidesteps the check, skates and shoots and a save made. Look at a point, Mel Holtra fires a shot, save made, rebound, steered. Here's Lindsay Puckett in with a shot and a glove, saves it, but he hangs out of that one, Hennessy. Here with McCormick rather getting tangled up again and now we got another scrap, this time with Randy Fitzgerald, the captain. And of course he's standing up for his netminder as McCormick took a run and he got a, good, a couple of good shots in there, an overhand right. And they both go down in a heap behind them. <laughs> you take a look at these young men for the Whalers. They have played one heck of a hockey game tonight all over the ice. Suited Morris got a piece of it. Heavy hit in the opposite corner, McBride. Our number one star tonight, Justin Williams, the hat trick, plus three helpers to go with that. Six points on the night. Thanks, Jeff. Our player of the game this evening is Justin Williams with three goals and three assists. Justin, let's go back to the first goal. How important was it for the Whalers to get the opening goal in tonight's hockey game? Well, one of our main goals before the game was to get a quick start and get that first goal because we've been down two goals the first two games this series. So, you know, it was really important. It was a real big boost for our team. Pretty much all Plymouth Whalers, as you can see, the score there, 42 to 31, shots on goal.